Alright buddy.
Love our true and everlasting love. Thank you. 
So congrats, Quinkian and Ate Wini. I actually will not be singing this performance because there's be a very, very special guest and he's actually sitting right in front of me. The groom, Brother Kim. Quinkian! Yeah. I know, if it's not good, you talk. Yeah. Oh, everyone's having a good time. And uh, I don't know if most of you need to be rolled to your cars. That's, there's still more food coming. Um, so this number was supposed to be a surprise. Maybe it is. But, uh, not a lot of practice, but every time I perform, there's never any practice. But I hope you love it. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will be the man who grows old with you. Oh, I will grow old with you. Thank you, everyone. I'm going to the round of applause for the groom, Ken Mayari. Oui. 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 Oui.
We waited very long. They were, they were friends for so long. How many years? Ten years? Just about. Just about ten years. And yet they uh, broke the news to us only within the last year or so. But nonetheless, they're now married. They're now husband and wife. They're already united as one. And now we have a daughter. Soon they will give us a grandchild. <laughs> But that could be something that they can take around. I have no other idea as to what to do. It's been a long time since I've done my first night, so that is out of the question. But anyway, not to be off track, not to be sidetracked, and not do anything or talk about things that are no longer an issue with me. But uh, first of all, I would also like to thank the mom, the mom and dad of Winnie. Okay? Mr. Peggy and Brother Virginia. We have been friends in the church for many, many years. But our children growing up together as uh, friends also, I'm sure, uh, in what we call children's worship service, uh, we didn't know that the time will come that they will also be meant for each other. Okay? Just to say something about my son, Ken, he's the second child in our uh, in our three boys okay uh maybe he, be, he will get mad at me after this night because the reason for it is he's really a, somebody that was given to us by god in a way wherein we could say he was taken and then given back and taken given what i meant by that is he was born premature okay as you all know when you're premature you have to be really given the extra care rather than just when you were born nine months. But, you know, he was so feisty. <laughs> he was, you can hold him in the palm of your palm of your hand. I was holding him like that. But I said, is this my son? Thank <laughs> God, <laughs> you know. Now I'm overweight. <laughs> and then I said, okay, so I have you know, the very first time we were able to hold him uh, by my palm was then when he was already so many months in uh, the Naval Hospital here in San Diego. They have to make him grow a little bit bigger each day so that way we can take him home. I said, it's not time yet. You know, we want to take him home. So me and, my, and the mom kept coming back every day. We stayed there until they kick us out because they had to close the hospital. But you know, that's, that's the way it is because he's if it is our son, we have to make sure that we will spend all the time that we could, you know, for him in the hospital. And then, not only that, he was small, but then the time came, we have to take him home. Because he said, okay, he's big enough. The moment he was home, he got sick. Oh, his lungs collapsed. And when that thing happened, it was almost like saying, God, thank you, you gave him to us for a few days and if you will take him from us thank you because of this we knew we had him and we named him Lester Ken Malari and then uh, you know in the church of Christ or in our church if you're not a member of our church there is what we call a, a child offering a child offering is when a baby has to be offered to God normally it's being done inside the chapel right there where everybody can see during the worship service the minister will pray for him and offer him to God and thank God that he was born, you know, as a relation uh, Christ member. But in his case, we have to bring the minister all the way to the hospital because we said, if this is the only time that we can offer him and he can stay with us, please go with us. So the minister went with us, we offered him inside the hospital in an incubator. And everybody was looking, what are they doing? <laughs> said, well, and they realized we were praying, you know, because that was, that was the time that we had to offer. And then he became strong because uh, he was now offered. All of a sudden, the mom said, in, in, because the whole time his eyes were closed. In. No, his eyes opened and they were so big. <laughs> we got scared. <laughs> because he 
heard, he heard his mom's voice. Would you believe that? A baby, when he heard his mom's voice, when, when his mom was calling him, then, then, he opened his eyes for the first time, and he opened them, and they were, we were not quite ready for it. <laughs> hungry eyes. <laughs> He's got those hungry eyes. I know he was just hiding, I mean, he was just hiding his eyes for so long. And he was that pretty to be just meaning it to really show it to us that yes, I'm here, you know, I can see you. I've been hearing you, but I can see you. So really, uh, I guess, or I should say, God really have meant him to really be this now. As you can see, a criminal justice graduate. He graduated from San Diego State University at criminal justice. And then he finally met the love of his life, our daughter. <laughs> 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 If we really only knew how much we waited for this day to happen. <laughs> now, and now, uh, son, you have your love of your life now. You have worked for this for so long. There were times where we thought maybe we're not sure <laughs> if you make it back. No, when you were a baby. Not this <laughs> <laughs> now that you are a full grown man and you found the love of your life and in the person of our daughter Winnie, please love her. You know, just like the way you have listened to, to the preaching of Brother Joe, you know, all are biblical words. There's nothing there that is tricky. There was nothing there that was just but an opinion of the minister. It was all God's words. You have to love her, you have to safeguard her, you have to love her just like a, a glass that can break. And you don't want that to break. You want it always to be always intact. And that's because you love her and you care for her. You give everything, you do everything for her, son. Okay? So uh, you have to promise that. You promised that before God. You promised that before us. We were there. We witnessed it. And now you have to prove it. You, this is the first day during the rest of your life. Okay? You are only on your first day. You have so many more days now. Okay? We love you so much. We love the Kuo family. We're just but one family now, Malari and Kuo. Okay? So uh, we'll no longer be strange to one another. Everything will be family now. Okay? So thank you for bringing us in in our, in our family. And uh, I hope. I really, really, really hope so that you are so also somebody that is a pride of the poor family. And I'm sure you are. Okay? And you have proven that to them. Thank you to the poor family, to all of you. We love you all. And may you be also here on their first baby when it's being offered. We may have another feast like this. Okay? Well, I don't know when that will be, but that can happen. That will happen. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Alright, how about another round of applause for the father of the groom?